Tonight, the story of the hidden treasure of a man named Milton Ernest Noss. His friends called him Doc. Where I'm sitting is at the very top of Victoria Peak, which is part of the U.S. Army's White Sands Missile Range. Where there's supposed to be millions, some say billions, in gold. 2,000 times a year, something like this happens in the 4,000 square miles of White Sands. The Army has maintained from the beginning that there is no lost treasure in White Sands Missile Range. You were in there, you saw what you told me you saw. I physically held it in my hands. I know it was there. And, and MPs, checking yes, to make sure no gold goes in and none goes out without the Army knowing about it. When Doc Noss was killed in 1949, he allegedly left behind a treasure of 15,000 gold bars buried inside the caverns of Victoria Peak. The secret of the gold became public at the Watergate hearings when John Dean testified about F. Lee Bailey's client's requests. Mr. Mitchell raised the fact that F. Lee Bailey had a problem that he would like to bring up. He said that Mr. Bailey had a client who had an enormous amount of gold in his possession who would like to make an arrangement with the government whereby the gold could be turned over to the government without the individual being prosecuted for holding the gold. Some theories point to former President Lyndon Baines Johnson that he and others orchestrated a massive cover-up. Gordon Hobbs from the office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army responded. I know nothing, I've seen nothing of any such claim uh, in the records uh, that I have seen. There's no question that gold-like bars came out of this mountain. No question about it. White Sands Missile Range is now closed to further search. If the mountain has not been penetrated and materials removed from this mountain, this will be the biggest thing that this country's ever seen. <laughs>